small round lead pellets were needed for shotgun shells. The rounder the pellet, the more likely it is to fly in the desired direction. But making perfectly round pellets in large quantities is not that easy. Pouring lead into water quickly makes small pellets, but they're very unevenly shaped. This is where William Watts came up with the idea of the shot tower in 1782. In the top of the tower, hot liquid lead is poured through a sieve, forming pellets. These then cool as they fall down the tower. Due to the surface tension of the lead, the fall results in perfectly small balls, which are caught by a water bath at the bottom of the tower, preventing damage on landing. Headwinds were used to significantly reduce the size of the shot tower. Also, other techniques were discovered. As a result, this shot tower in the heart of Melbourne has been decommissioned and has now found new neighbors in this shopping center. A few others are remaining, hiding in plain sight. Today, the use of lead shot is banned in many parts of the world because lead accumulates in ecosystems and poisons living creatures.